Who did not have Asia Wilson winning Defensive Player of the Year? to get this series started I've been so lucky with this team um, you know number one in the defense we worked really hard to get there so again thank you to the coaches thank you to my team for supporting me um, and let's keep this maybe not unanimously but definitely winning I'll not only tell you who I'll tell you how hi and welcome back to Davis Sports Report if you haven't done so already please subscribe to help us grow the channel and turn on notification to be updated as we drop new content. Nafisa Collier's victory in securing the 2024 Defensive Play of the Year Award was a significant upset over Asia Wilson, the now reigning unanimous MVP. While Wilson's historic season has garnered plenty of attention and made her a prime contender, Collier's all-around defensive prowess proved too much to overlook. I said I will tell you how. Well, let me give you my opinion on why Collier won Defensive Player of the Year. Collier posted career-high averages in several key defensive categories, ranking second in the league for steals at 1.91 per game and seventh in blocks at 1.41 per game. Her ability to guard multiple positions and contribute in both rebounding and shot blocking played a major role in Minnesota Lynx's second best defensive rating in the league, as well as their strong overall season. Collier also helped to hold opponents to a league low 41% shooting from the field, further enhancing her claim for the award. This achievement was particularly notable given that Collier had been considered for MVP as well, finishing second in votings only to Asia Wilson. Her combination of elite defense and scoring, averaging 20.4 points per game, was enough to earn her the Defensive Player of the Year award with 36 votes compared to Wilson's 26 votes. So the voters is the group that thought Collier should win it. While Asia's own defensive abilities were crucial to the Aces success, Collier's all encompassing impact this season was what ultimately led to her breakthrough win. And I must say, I thought Asia would win defensive player of the year as well, but Collier would come in as a close second. So I'm not at all upset at Collier winning defensive player of the year. Congratulations to Nafisa Collier. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think Nafisa deserved to win or this should have been Asia's as well? See you in the next video.